Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to continue the NLP related, I mean the regular expression and NLP related discussions along with small Python programs that we have written to understand the regular expression concepts. In the previous session, we did a lot of them and all of them were supported with Python codes, which I hope you definitely like. So we are continuing with the same year and we will need another one or two sessions maximum to complete the entire regular expression content and this is going to be very helpful so do not ignore it when you are going through the playlist i request you to pay a lot of attention for you to get clearer with all these points now the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to find out the zero or more occurrences i am going to find out none or more zero or more occurrences here an example would be apt here so I have a text here and the text is pain, bane, bane, brain, cane, chain, crane, dane, drain. Now what I'm going to find out is I need to find out if the above string, this string contains AI followed by zero or more X characters. Understand AI followed by zero or more X characters. What do you mean by that? Very simple. I can have zero or more than I mean more than zero which is one or two or more than one occurrences so what is that it is now going to search using the find all the find all will go through this and will search for a there is zero or more occurrences this is followed by n one character is there followed by a i and this is zero or more and b a i n this is followed by them again but here it failed because a i is not there so bane won't come into picture but brain will come into picture again a i followed by something cane won't come into picture Chain will come in into picture because A followed by N is there. Crane won't. Dane will and drain will. So how many occurrences? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 occurrences should be there. Let's see what is the result. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, there is at least only one match. At least one match and maximum we have got around 6 matches. So what did we do? We used star and when a particular sequence is followed by some specific x x followed by star it means that a must be definitely there followed by that there can or there need not be any character that's what we matched and we got the result can we see the way the demo works as usual the demos are very helpful try it out in jupyter uh, notebook whatever uh, i have already suggested you now this is the text that we used we have used re dot find all a x star and when it is available we will get as yes there is a match if not there will be no match and the results are predicted in front of you clearly. We will go to the next one quickly. Now one or more occurrences. Last time what did we see? We saw zero or more occurrences. This time it is going to be one or more occurrences. So what is the statement that I am taking here? The string. The rain in the Spain falls mainly in the plane. The rain in the Spain falls mainly in the plane. Now what do we do? We need to check if the string contains AI. The string must contain AI which is followed by one or more X characters, one or more characters. So what are all the things that are available here? We are going to search for it, which is going to be one or more followed by the pattern that we are searching. AA should be having one or more thing later. So R A I N rain, there will be cut right away. We do not have the rain. A is there and one or more is there. In nothing is there. Spain, A is there, N is there. False is not there. Mainly A is there, N is there, L is there, O is there. So this is fine. In it won't come into picture. That it won't come into picture. Plain. A I N. So one or more. So rain is suitable. Spain is suitable. Mainly is suitable. Plain is suitable. So A I X will get you the rain, the Spain, the mainly and most importantly the plain filter. So I get A I A I A I A I four times and there are four matches. That's it. For us to get zero or more occurrences. We will go with a i x star. Remember it. Star will get you zero or more occurrences, which means that it can even be zero. But for us to get one or more occurrences, you need to go with plus a i plus. This is very important and remember it. Now, and this is a very simple thing that we have. Uh, uh, we have to see the demo as well. As usual, let's go with the same pattern. So the code is written in a very simple way. I have imported re. The text is nothing but the rain in the Spain falls mainly in the plain. And x is equal to re dot find all ai plus this says that one or more occurrences. Now, if the x is true, I'll say there is one match. If not, there is no match. And we've got four matches clearly in this system. And 
we got the result printed. We are going to the next one. Now we are going to find out another very important thing. If the string contains a followed by exactly 2L. I am going to find out if the string that I am feeding in has got an A. A followed by 2Ls. All. All is what I am trying to search out. So now we need to first give the text. I mean the string. The rainfall. The rainfall was once highest in Chirabuchi, India. Now what do we need to do? We need to find out if the string contains A which is followed exactly by two L characters. So how do we do that? RE dot find all. In the quote, I need to use AL in the bracket curtly brace, I put two. Now what do I mean is, I am saying that there must be one A and there must be exactly two Ls. So now the search will start. Let me go here. The It has got no AL. Rainfall, it has got no AL. No, it is there. A followed by double L. So this should be filtered. Was nothing, once nothing, highest nothing, in Chirabunji nothing, India. So what is that? We got one match clearly and that one match is nothing but the rainfall. So the rainfall is the one that is going to be filtered and we get all there and there is at least one match. Shall you see the demo if it is working fine? Yes, that's better. So you can see that here the importing is as usual happening and I imported IE. The text is presented here and the text had one instance of whatever we wanted. And with find all, with specifying inside the double quote along with the curly brace, we could specify the number here. 2 means L should be twice present, at least present twice after that A. It can be 3, 4, 5, anything, any number. So when you run it, you get the output as once and there is at least one match. Right. We will go to either R. What is it? I need to have this R that in the statement or in the string that I am feeding in. Can, uh, can this be seen with the best example? I am going to see if A or B is available in the cabin. I am waiting for somebody. If A or B comes, I can take them. So now, that's the same kind of example that I am going to find out here. Import RE, text, the rainfall stays highest in uh, Masrinum in India. Uh, forgive my pronunciation. I did not know how exactly to pronounce it. Now, what do we need to do? We need to find out if the string contains false or stays. False or stays is what I need to find out. Now let's find out how exactly to do it. There is something called as pipe in operating system and commands in Linux uses pipe. This pipe symbol is going to be useful here. False or, this R is nothing but pipe, stays, comma text. Using find all, when you use the pipe along with specification clearly saying what are the either R options by passing the text as an argument, you get clearly. Now let us go through it. The rainfall stays highest in uh, the specific place in India. Now how do we find out? We need to find out if false or stays are there. This is just rainfall so it won't match. Yes is not there, it is not plural. So stays is present since it falls under the condition, since it comes under the condition false or stays this will be true. So I should get yes printed and I got one match and that one match is presented clearly as a result. As usual we will quickly see the demo. I have imported RE, I have given that text statement there and I am using find all. See find all is one of the most useful uh, options available with regular expression which has got a lot of support with the multiple parameters you can change, uh, multiple flags you can change here and there and it is very useful. So here you can see flags and stays are tested if they are available, if either of them is available and once it is done I got the result as stays and you got the output. Now. What are we going to do? We are going to go with the next one where the square bracket usage is going to be specified and the square bracket is going to return a match where one of the specified characters I R N. I am just going with character. I am going to spot one single character or another single character. It's not a string match. It's a character match. Now see let's uh, now let's see how it goes. I am importing R E. Text is the rain in the South India. Now check if the string has got any A, R, R, N. A, R, O, R, N. So how do we do that? Square bracket is what I said I am going to use. So X is equal to R, E dot find all. In the square bracket A, R, N. If these three characters, any of these are available in this particular input string that I fed in, it turns to. That's it. It will search for A, it will search for R, it will search for N and that is going to turn true if any one of these is available. I am going to match it. Now what will happen? I am going to search for it through with the input and if it is available, I will print there is at least one match. R, A, N, 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 A. The entire string has got R, A, N, N, 
and uh, here also in the india it is n is available and a is available that's what is predicted and printed very clearly through this option so shall we see the output yes so remember find all when you know the complete options available for using find all you have almost learned 30 40 percent of whatever has to be learned so try it out and don't ignore find all now we are uh, just testing it out if it is available a or n is available we are printing it as success otherwise we say no match and the given string is completely analyzed and you get the output right in front of you this is a very simple thing and easy to understand as well now we are going to find out if the string has any characters in between two ranges a to z a to m something like that so last time we were very specific about having a r r n a r and three characters only is what we were interested in but now we are interested in understanding a range of characters between a to z a to j something like that so now for that also we need to use the square bracket but with a small change what is the change i'm going to talk about it right now import re i have imported text is equal to the rain in south india and x is equal to re dot find all in the square bracket instead of a n r like what we did the last time we need to put a hyphen n which means it starts from a and it goes on till n it will pick up all the characters in between it will try to match and that's exactly the point now text is the input now when it is matched we get the output as there is at least one match else there is no match it starts with a it ends with n it matches for anything in between and it gives you the output now in this if you see there are so many things h e a i n uh, i again n uh, in this again we have uh, s o u t h south h is there so in india i have n d i a completely so all these are going to be the match and that's what is being printed in front of you so when you need a range to be found out when you want to find out the uh, a to z a to g a to h something like that we go with this pattern and we use find all with square brackets with having an hyphen having a hyphen in between to really go with that and you can see that if it is true we get the output if it is false we get the result printed as no match and that's what we have got we have got at least one match of the characters since it is a bigger line bigger string we could get easily and the learning shall grow we'll go with more of this content in the next session also and hopefully in next one or two more sessions the regular expressions will be complete i request you guys to try it out in your machine there will be lot of things that you can learn when you type and try this is my humble request for you guys please go ahead and try it thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me if you have any suggestions inputs please go ahead and type it in the comment section if you like the channel please subscribe thank you